So I beat Paper Mario The Origami King six days after it came out, and honestly, it's my second favorite in the series. I haven't had that much pure fun playing a game in a long while. I had to put the controller down so many times because I was just either laughing, jamming to the music, or taking in an event that just happened. This happened at so many points in the game that I could make a video about it, but for this video, I'll be talking about one of the previous points I just made, the music. No hyperbole, It's. Th I think this is the best soundtrack in the series. I like Thousand Year Doors and Super, pa Super Paper Mario's soundtracks for what they are, and Color Splash, I like what it did with jazz big band style the entire game, but as a whole, Origami King knocks it out of the park at, with nearly every song blowing me away. I should mention that there will be some spoilers regarding a certain boss, locations, etc, but if you've watched the trailers and caught up, you should know that the, all the major bosses of each area are office supplies, and you should know that locations, um, since they were spoiled by Nintendo themselves right before the game came out. So let's jump right in. To start off, let's begin with the first thing you hear when you boot the game up. The main motif of the title music pops up throughout the game in multiple instances, from the title screen theme all the way to the ending staff credit. The motif appears at the beginning of the game, uh, when you're on your way to Peach's Castle, Toad Town, um, the museum, cafes, Olivia's transformations, and of course the final battle theme. Any game that doesn't include the main motif in their final battle loses points in my eyes. Also I should point out that it's such a moving motif, as, as it is, in any form it takes. It, it blows me away. Compared to Breath of the Wild's uh, motif, which isn't bad, don't get me wrong, it's a great theme, fits the game, but in the context of the final battle when it's used, it doesn't hit as hard as I would like. Okay, the battle themes are, in my opinion, the best in the series. Nintendo tweeted out a sample of the Red Streamer battle theme a while before the game came out just to give us a little taste, and that's exactly what it was, just a taste, just a tiny hint of what was to come. The variety in the battle themes alone is impressive. It's not something I see very often in ba when battle themes change depending on the area you're in within the game. Th there are some, th some games where the music will change depending on the progression through the story and plot, like Octopath Traveler and Fire Emblem, but for the most part it's always just static themes that play for reoccurring instances, like Pokemon with its set themes for wild battles, trainer battles, gym battles, etc. Origami King has its own motif that we discussed earlier, but it also has a battle motif and I really like that. The first time we hear it is in the Red Streamer battle theme, and we hear that main motif in the other four battle themes as well, for the other areas, with some variation on melodic and harmonic elements to fit the setting you hear them in. That's one thing that makes me giddy whenever I see, or rather hear it in games. I love smart music design like that. Having characteristic sounds in the battle theme that match the setting you're in at the time. The Red Streamer battle theme, while not really being characteristic of the area you hear it in, it certainly keeps a similar a uh, basic instrumentation big band feel as the battle theme for the game that came before it, Color Splash. The Otter Mountain battle theme uses distinct Japanese instruments while evolving the main melody. And I should mention that there are actually two battle themes in the Blue Streamer section of the game. There's the Otter Mountain theme and the Shogun Studios theme. Um, I just like the Otter Mountain theme better, and anything I say about it can also be applied to the other one. The Sandpaper Desert battle theme uses strings and what sounds like the Arabic kanun, 
and while again evolving the approach to the main melody that was established. The Great Sea Battle theme uses accordion and acoustic guitar for the melody that really makes it feel like it fits with the Mario Beach level music from games past and also changes up the melody. And lastly, the Shangri Spa slash Jungle Spring battle theme uses flutes and backing vocals that symbolize the fact that you're in a paradise hot spring in the sky and a jungle is there for some reason. And also it changes the melody. I really love the fact that they did this with the battle themes, and I need more games to take this approach. Like, really bad. There are other battle themes, like boss themes, and they're all great, don't get me wrong, but nothing to really dedicate a section to discussing. I would, however, like to point you to two more absolute bangers of tracks. This first one is the battle theme that plays for event battles. And now this next one is my absolute favorite battle theme in the, the entire game, by far, bar none. This is the theme of the major boss of the desert chapter, Hole Punch. You thought this was going to be a concise segmented video? <laughs> no. This game hits you with so much variety, it's unfrickin' believable. You want some soul music? We got you covered. You want an idol concert? Olivia's got you covered. You want some disco? You already know what I'm gonna say, but I'm gonna say it anyways. We got you covered!
There's also a musical theater portion of the game that parodies tragic opera. Also, quick question. What do Thriller by Michael Jackson, Swan Lake by Tchaikovsky, and Fire by Justice all have in common? They all have remixes in the same Paper Mario game, of course. What else would it be? There's also Eurobeat for some reason, Wild West themed tracks, Japanese tracks that match the Japanese inspired mountain, theme mountain area, classical music, desert Arabic music, even a Zelda like song plays when you're crossing the Great Sea, like in Wind Waker. The towns have thematic music. The, the music always, in every scenario, fits perfectly with what's going on. There's even a point when Olivia's giving a speech, and I kid you not, it sounds like it came from Bravely Default or Chrono Trigger or something. This soundtrack doesn't miss a beat, no pun intended, but if I talked about every song, we'd be here all day. I can happily place this game on my list of games with smart soundtracks. I guess since this is technically a review, I should give it a rating, um, and honestly, I'm super confident I'm super comfortable giving this game soundtrack a 10 out of 10. I, it is such a fun soundtrack, but it's also moving, emotional, humorous, powerful, and everything in between. It just, it hits every note, no pun intended, again, I, I apologize, <laughs> that wasn't my intention. It, it hits every note for me, and I, I love it for that. It's such an amazingly well-crafted, smart soundtrack. There are also plenty of tracks that I haven't mentioned in the video, and I'm sorry if I didn't mention your pl or play your favorite, but drop your favorites down below in the comments, and I'll give them all a listen, even though I listen to them all. Like, Sniff It City is a freaking banger. <laughs> and also down below, let me know how you feel about the Origami King soundtrack. Also, the game in general. I personally really, really like this game. Um, second favorite, as I said earlier at the top of the video. Um, but I know the general consensus is, is pretty mixed about it, um, so please let me know down below. With that out of the way, um, I love you guys, hope you have a good day, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and, uh, ring that bell, I gotta do my YouTube, <laughs> YouTube, uh, shilling, and, uh, I'll talk to you guys next time, peace, K-Dog, out.